We had a wind gust coming through. As you see, it pushed me back a little bit, but I just want to show you some of the damage we're seeing out here in Fort Pierce in this gated community. A palm tree is laying in the middle of the road, and this is just one example of the extent of the damage caused by tornadoes that came through this place. We actually have a house here that has a dumpster, a dumpster that they said came from the country club in this community that landed, scraped these cars, landed on top of the car, and it's unbelievable the, the sights you're seeing here. The guy who owns this home, John, he tells me he screwed in his, his you know, hurricane shutters and the tornado ripped them right off, and here is John with us right now. John, can you talk about, you know, the moments the tornado was coming through? What did you, you know? Yeah, yeah no, it was a very scary moment. It's it's a lot of sounds, the pressure in. Now, I've never, Florida resident for 30 years, so I'm used to hurricanes, but not tornadoes. And we actually, that was the third tornado within an hour and a half. And the first one wasn't too bad. The second one got a little bit worse. And this one, we we literally thought the house was coming apart. And you could hear sounds and banging. And apparently, you know, we were in the back of the house, but you could still hear a 1,200-pound dumpster hit your garage, smash into two vehicles and hit your garage door. This is a friend of ours' car who came over here to be safe. And there's a dumpster on her, the hood of her car. That car is totaled, and it, we have one in the garage that is in still in pristine condition. I just I can't get it out. <laughs> So it's and it's not just you know your yard. It's the entire community. No, if you look down, if you go down this whole, everybody who had their cars in their driveway, for probably seven or eight houses that way, all their cars are destroyed. They're totaled.